Hello, this is Jack from Teaching ESL Online. Now today, we're going to go through how you can build a landing page using lead pages. And I made a video a few months ago on how to build a website using lead pages, but today our focus is going to be landing pages. And I'm gonna use various tools today, or you'll need some tools in order to, to get these pages live on your website and capturing leads. So firstly, you'll need lead pages. If you're thinking about signing up, consider using my link in the description. It's an affiliate link. Um, you're also gonna need some email marketing software. And I actually have a course on how to use email marketing within any kind of business. So there's a link to that in the description, but I'll also leave a link to my favorite email marketing software. And for the purpose of today to post this landing page, we're going to need a plugin for WordPress. I'm gonna need a, a website, but you can also just use the servers on lead pages and use their URLs if you don't have a website already or if you wanna just keep it separate. So let's start with a landing page that I built many years ago now. And this is a landing page that has done very well for me. If you just take a look at it, it's very simple. And the way I arrived at this finished product is through split testing. And this is where you change one thing on your landing page and you see which version performs better, which version has more conversions. So this has gone through many different variations. It's led to this today. And this is, I'm gonna share some stats here. So over the past 30 days, it is converting at, well, let's just say, let's round that up, 50%. We've had 5,400 visitors and 2,695 conversions. Um, those are unique visitors there. So this is performing really well. And it has been for a long time. In fact, the conversion rate just keeps going up. It was at 40% about a year ago, but now it is at 50%. And I think overall, I've had over 200,000 people who have converted just using this simple page here. Now, one feature of it is if you click here, it has this little pop-up where you can enter your name and email address. And one thing I like about lead pages is that they are constantly testing things themselves and they are telling you what works and what doesn't. And in fact, when it's time to build your landing page, if we go to this page here, you can sort by, if you see over here, conversion rate. So you know which ones are converting the best. This one here is new and it looks like it's a Cyber Monday expiring offer. So that's not what we're gonna look at today. We're gonna actually look at lead capture through some type of opt-in, like a free book, which is what I've done here. And just to say, when people subscribe to my email list, then they receive this free book. And this is something that um, I've been offering for a long time too. So let's just choose uh, this one here because it's the best converting free book opt-in page. Just make it easy on yourself. Do something like that where you're not really overthinking it. And this is what we come up with when we start to build it. So we're just gonna put in here, free book test and press continue. And it's gonna start building the template for you. And this is what you're going to see next, which is like the, the overall page where it's gonna show you what you need to do. Okay, so here we are. We are on the drag and drop landing page here. And what's interesting is, again, it's very simple. I have found that the simple landing pages convert better for me. But if you really wanna find out the best converting landing pages, again, do split tests so you can change different things. So you can see here, this looks like a landing page for coding. We, You can design a website, create a great looking website today with this easy to follow guide. And you've got the, the image here, you've got the logo at the top, you've got the text here, and then the button here as well. This is when it, it, get, it can get a little bit confusing here, which we'll go through in a second. But what you need to do in this case, and what I like to do is to change the text, but change it obviously related to your niche. So firstly, you might wanna go in the style 
and the page background is a hero pattern, but you can also change the background color here. This is an image. You can change your image to something else. You can fill in um, an image overlay. You can put a color on there as well. And obviously you can just fix or match the color to your branding. But I won't go into the page style too much because that's just something to go in there a little bit. You can change the font styles too to match the fonts on your website and your general branding fonts. But mainly what we wanna do here and what's quite easy is we can just change this headline. So the headline is coding cats. For me, it might just be um, like to fluency for my brand for English learners. And then what I like to do is you, you can design a website. You can just say, you can speak English too. So you, you're getting to see me design this in real time. So you, you can speak English too. And then here we might want to change this here to say, um, speak English with confidence and fluency by downloading this easy to follow guide and then changing the text here as well to just match your message. Here, what we need to do is edit the image. So if we click on this, we can click over here and it will bring up the images. So I've already got these images here from all my different lead pages. So let's just say I wanna put an ebook cover in. I'm sure I have one somewhere down here. Um, Let's just use this. This is an old one for me where I used to have uh, tools and resources for teaching languages online. So you can design your ebook cover. Again, something like Canva would work well here, where whichever way you want to do it. And then you can change the text here. Send me the free ebook. I like it. It's fine. Now, this is a part where we need to link the opt in page to your um, email marketing software. So there's two things, edit pop-up, which is gonna show you this part here. Yes, send me the ebook, send me the free ebook. Again, you don't really need to change much there, but it's this bit which is going to be the integration. What we need to do here is edit integrations, okay? So when we do that, then it brings up another section over here and you can either do notify me, which is gonna send you emails to your email address, or add integration. Now, I've already sent it up with Active Campaign, which is what I use in order to do my email marketing service. And again, I'll leave a link if so you can get a free trial to that using my affiliate link and also a free course for you if you want to go through it. But let's just use these 15 tools um, which is similar to the one I'm using here. What that's gonna do, and I'll delete this one. What's, what's that gonna do is, if we go to fields next, uh, there's a agree button here. I mean, you know, maybe we want that, maybe we don't. Um, then there's actions here, which is default lead pages or a landing page. I like to do a landing page not a landing page, sorry, a external URL where I just do something like um, to fluency.com slash thank you, T-Y, which then has a thank you page. And you can build a thank you page using lead pages as well. So that's something we can do here. Now, what I'm gonna do is just say, all right, that's set up. Let's publish this. And it's gonna take a little bit of time this is where you can actually just send people directly. JDA Industries, leadpages.co, free book test. If we just put publish here, then you can send people to that URL. But what I'm gonna show you is how you can integrate this with your website so you can have your website name slash whatever you want to have. So this is how you do it inside WordPress. So I have add a new lead page and I'm gonna just refresh this because I've just added, I've got a lot of lead pages. And if I search for free book test, click that, then I'm gonna tell it's a landing page. And then 
you can do set a custom slug. So just, just say free book and then click publish. And now this is gonna publish this on my website. And then it says post publish, view post. And there it is, it's on the website. And all of this is going to be integrated to the active campaign email list. And also it's on your website now, which means that you can just copy that link and send it to people to opt in. So that goes through how you can build landing pages using lead pages. And then once you have this template, in place then what i recommend doing again is doing a b tests now you might need to go for the middle version or the pro version of lead pages in order to get access to that feature but for me it's been worth it because it's taken a conversion rate of 19 percent to 50 percent by just doing these different a b tests and that for me has been really worth it in terms of the overall number of signups and therefore the overall number of students that have enrolled in my course. So once you have your template down and what you can do is then copy those templates, duplicate them and then build more landing pages for whatever else you want to do. So again, if you want to sign up to lead pages and consider using my link in the description, there is a free trial so you can just mess around with things to see if it's gonna work for you. They have a free plugin that you can use for WordPress so that you can publish your posts. And then also, while you're in the description, download my free email marketing guide where I go through how to set up an email marketing list, how to set up forms, how to set up automations, how to use lead pages and link things, how to use social media, in order to grow your subscribers. And there's so much inside that free course. So consider joining that today. There'll be a link to do that in the description. All right, thank you so much for watching. Speak to you soon, bye-bye.